Cog de Leon feathers in the UK have been in fairly short supply a few years back. Now, thanks to Lakeland fly tie-in and funky feathers, there's quite a range. And not all the uh, uh, birds' feathers are, are used just for tailing. You can use them for making shrimp flies, for salmon, actually dry flies. Um, we've got feathers from now from the Coq de Leon hens as well as the cockerel side. So I'm just going to show you a few different things that can be done with these feathers. That's a, that's a dry fly just made from the saddle feathers. A bunch of fibres are tied on and then spun round the hook. These are the soft feathers that come from the belly of a, of a hen with a bit that they call chickaboo. The tips here wound round a hook can make a fantastic partridge substitute for partridge and orange flies. These fluffy feathers at the top they're called chickaboo. They're good for damsel flies, what they call woolly buggers and things, anything where you want a lot of mobility in the fly. They rattled it around and gave a very poor demonstration of its flexibility. They're available in a lot of natural colours. That's again a, a bunch of fibres just simply tied around the hook and bent backwards on, on a 16, 16 hook. These are the hen saddle feathers. They have a beautiful speckled appearance. Quite subtle. You should be able to get two to three flies from each feather. That's using it on a check nymph just to give a little bit of movement on the check nymph. And again, you can use the very tips to wrap them round as a, a hackle for like. Uh, A partridge feather substitute, there's one tied in that fashion. This is the uh, Coq de Leon hen feathers. Extremely wispy, almost ethereal feathers, move with the slightest current in the water. Quite long in the fibre. Really nice for wet flies where you want plenty of movement. They're long in the fibre, even right down to the smallest of feathers. But what I really like these uh, hen necks for is these bigger speckled feathers. You can make really good what they call wonder wing dry flies. That's a wonder wing dry fly where the fibres are turned back on itself for the wings. And that's a Coq de Leon saddle feather used for the tail. That particular one's tied in the conventional fashion. So those are the feathers you use right up at the top of the, uh, of the cape, or the bottom, depending on how you look at it. There's another little example there. This one's tied parachute style. Don't go above size 14 with these because you find that on the bigger sizes the flies tend to spin as you cast and make a, a complete mess of your cast. This is the Coq de Leon capes which are good for salmon flies and uh, rainbow lures and so on. Very shiny, very fine fibres. Here's a, a woolly bugger that's used in some of the soft feathers from the hen, like the chickaboo, and the soft feathers on the top. And then there's that orange feather used from the cock down the body. You see, it makes a, it makes a nice looking fly. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this little blast at the Croque de Lyon feathers and give your, give your dealer a, a ring and see what they can come up with. Thank you. Bye for now.